I'm sorry, my girl, but you have to put this mask on now. And I'll fight with every breath, trust me. I'ma be the one at the top, you can't touch me. Okay, don't worry, I didn't actually put that mask on her. But the point of today's video is talking a bit about hygiene, and I'm sure you all know why. Now, it's very important for us reptile keepers to be very conscious and aware of our surroundings of us and our animals' enclosures, health, hygiene, and habitat just because of what is happening currently in today's society with all the spread of you know what. The reason I'm particularly using gloves right now is because I have cuts on my hands and she can she can spit. So for instance each shot here has had a different snake in the background of it but between each shot I have disinfected the surface with a really high quality disinfectant just to ensure the snake safety as well. In saying that I've always had a higher standard for cleanliness with my reptiles ever since I got my first snake which was given to me with an upper respiratory infection and that contaminated the other snakes that I did have at the time as well. So from that time I have been very conscious about the cleanliness of my reptiles. What I've always been doing is spraying my hands with some sort of disinfectant or washing them with soap and water between handling the different species. So obviously this is very difficult when you start building up a larger amount of animals. I feel in today's day and age it is very important for us as hobbyists to be extremely sanitary and cleanly with our animals just because of all the rumors that have been going around. Like all the rumors that this started with snakes, you can get it from animals. We don't really know what happens when and where. And in my personal opinion, I think we should stay very conscious about this because we don't want anyone to attack us as a hobby for any outbreaks that happen. So I'm not saying this comes from snakes. No, I have no thought that this comes from snakes. But what I'm saying is don't let unsanitary cages or anything that is uncleanly be used against you. So in this day and age, stay super conscious about being hygienic. What I'm trying to say is not to wash your hands between holding each of your animals, but more so to wash your hands after you've handled all your animals. And in no way guys am I trying to scare you whatsoever. What I'm just saying is be cleanly, it's not that hard. So when you're cleaning your cages, Use a utensil to pick up the poop. Don't use your hands. Wash your hands afterwards even if you've used the utensil. Wash all your utensils as well. This should be a standard practice no matter of the circumstances. So as for the disinfectants I use, let me show you quickly. So in here is a mixture of F10. It's my preferred choice of disinfectants. Although there are so many disinfectants that you can get out there, you can even use a bleach and water mix or even a chlorohexidine and water mix. So three simple steps. Keep the cages and room clean, disinfect where the snake has pooped and wash your hands. It's that simple guys. There's a lot more to it. Disinfect your utensils but basically disinfect, wash, keep clean. Boom. So basically the point of this video is for us to keep a really high standard so nothing can be used against our hobby so there will be no more restrictions put in place. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys could click that bell and hit all notifications so you can get notified for all my future upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to go out, learn, explore, inspire and love it. Thank you Matteo for watching. If you want a shout out, tag me at Bryce underscore broom on Instagram.